Hey, we got Drew's views here, and I'm back for a little Anna Monday reacting to anime on Monday. Listen, it's sunny out, the birds are chirping, and I'm ready to watch some carnage with Attack on Titan season three, episode 15. Just assuming that's gonna be the case. Look, things have been going a little too well for our heroes of the scout regiment and i just have a bad feeling it's gonna go downhill but i've been saying this the last two uh, episodes of the since the the second part of season three here so who knows maybe not but so last time was thunder spears and uh it was a new weapon developed by the scientific minds it seemed to have some pretty good effect on the cult the armor titan rather reiner he seems to be down for the count. Is he actually dead? Are we going to see that? You know, it kind of ended on that cliffhanger, I guess you'd call it, of his eyes getting exploded by them. Uh, but what's going to happen? Is he actually going to be done for? We'll see. And now, uh, where's Bertold, by the way? Colossal Titan. Is he going to show up to try to do something? Do they have him cornered somewhere? Uh, we know Beast Titan's outside the walls there with his uh, army of Titans that he can control, I guess. He's throwing shot puts, he's throwing stones. I think that the Thunder uh, Spear thing was what Erwin was alluding to in the first episode of the of Part 2 here when he said that, that he has a surprise or whatnot. So I'm assuming that was it, not something else that we haven't seen yet. But does he have something else up his sleeve? We'll see. And, you know, there's still, of course, the saga of the basement getting to it. Is it going to take the whole back half of the season? Like, is it just going to be... I think I said last my last reaction, like, how season two of Attack on Titan was kind of, like, all over one day, basically, or two days. Is that going to be the same thing for the second half of season three here, where it's all this battle? And uh, to just even get there could be the case, um, especially based on the... The shots we see in the intro a song and everything it seems like we've seen a lot of it already or it's like all taking place here and Shigashina if I'm saying that right I always kind of go like wait Shigashina Shigashina you know whatever I gotta hear them say it again 10 more times but anyway I want to pick right back up into this thing I probably didn't recap enough but that's all right we're gonna watch the episode which is called Descent. All right. Descending down the basement stairs. There's one of the boulders. All right. Titan's got it. Dude, oh, this is a, a flashback. Oh, of course, though. Okay. That's Marco. So that's how he died. It wasn't 100% clear. There was still a slight mystery there. Interesting. Poor Marco. Well, good cover. Signed his death warrant on that one. It wasn't a joke. Is Annie the one who did it? Right, it was his ODM gear she used uh, to get out of there with the whole female titan stuff. Calling humans a filthy race. Interesting. I wonder if that means like she was human initially and she got injected to be the titan and her father's not a titan shifter or whatever but maybe Bertold and Reiner were always like that born like that Now 
just having his dual personality thing going. Now we move up to last night, I suppose. Is this Beast Titan guy? Let's see what he looks like. I guess we saw him already. Yeah. Nobody would know who it is. What does that mean she's hiding? She's captured. Hmm. So the armor is something that someone else can take on? It's not inherent to him. Maybe. This one can talk too, huh? War Chief Zeke. That's a Beast Titan's real name? Zeke? Cheers, boy. でも高い能力を持っている it's still in the wall. But if now we know that it's maybe just an armor that other Titans can use. That's why they're crying. I gotta try to take Bertolt alive. It's in the barrel. The signal. Yeah, you got it, Armin. Dark liquid, believed to be a beverage consumed by the Titan shifters while they were camping out, confirmed to have a pleasant aroma. Its origin is unknown. Not the <laughs> drink question mark. <laughs> Are real helpful. Wasn't it just tea? Does this even matter? <laughs> well, I can't imagine that. I get <laughs> is this gonna come back in some strange way? Is he gonna do a midair? That would be pretty dope, I gotta say. Do his falling move again. We're gonna see that Reiner's dead. <laughs> nice action shot there. I didn't do what he was supposed to. He got no head, no top of his head, bro. Oh. What does that mean exactly then? Better told out. Harmon got the better of him in season two with talking, threatening him, talking to him, checking him, kind of thing. <laughs> Simple. Why do they want the demise of humans? Right, that's when we learned about how he likes Annie. Not gonna work twice, I mean. Alright, Armin, I would say get out of here at this point. Jeez. 
She just cut his ear out. He got his groove back. Determination. Hmm. It's like the type of thing you say right before you die. The remaining shingles just got schwung. Uh oh. Hanji's not dead, come on. Two. <laughs> Mars attacks. Colossal Titans raising the town. あなたにある。当初の作戦通りの消耗戦で対応する。いや、まだある。ベルトルトを団長たちのいる壁に近づけるのはまずい。うちの建物まで。ハハ、ハハ、ハハ、ハハ、ハハ、ハハ、ハハ
Titanform some way because of this. But also it seemed to imply that, you know, uh, Zeke, Beast Titan said he would give the armor to someone else if they screw up or whatever or disobey or something. So does that mean the armor Titan ability can be passed on? I mean, I guess we see that other Titan abilities can be like how Eren ate his dad and then he gets that ability that Eren's dad stole from. Like there's one that things pass like that. So I guess that's possible. Could someone else become Colossal Titan as well by that logic? Maybe... Uh, yeah, so a ton of stuff this time, wow. And the good stuff I've been interested in about the Titan Shifters here. Then, so Berthold is like seeming, you know, I was saying it then there, he's giving like a speech almost of someone about to die. I guess he thinks maybe he is going to die, but is that kind of the plan to like end it all there? But they weren't saying like end it all here, meaning commit suicide as well and kill everyone else. Or were they exactly? Or I guess they, either way, they're fine with it, with what the plan is. But yeah, Bertold's having that attitude now. He's like fully gone all the way. I mean, we see how all of this is affecting all the kind of villains here. You know, Annie in the flashback, not wanting to have to kill Marco, even though she did uh, left him to die ultimately. And Reiner, of course, with his dual personality things, even though he's like the most gung ho in charge of it. It seems like when he's the one normal personality of his, but um, then he like loses track of what's going on. Interesting. Um, and then Bertolt has always been kind of meek and whatever, shy, whatever. And then it, it, Armin got him, you know, was alluded to heavily this time, uh, referenced in, in season two. That's how uh, Armin helped save the day, pressuring Bertolt about Annie, but he's not going to fall for it twice. So, uh, and he seems completely, yeah, like ready to end it. Like I said, he's ready to, and they said, like, oh, it's like a, a different person or something. So, yeah, that was probably the biggest Berthold episode we've ever had, I would say. So we'll see what happens here with Colossal Titan. What's going to be their plan to get out of this? So, you know, Levi and Erwin weren't really fo featured in the episode. They just showed them a few times. They're kind of like, all right, you know, Erwin's still on the wall there wondering about Beast Titan. And then, I don't know what Levi's going to be up to right now, but maybe um, if Hanji and them are still alive somewhere or injured, he can try to go get them. I don't know, but... They gotta come up with a plan quick here. And it seems like maybe it will. The whole season will be mostly be around this whole battle here. Um, especially if they're gonna do like half, you know, have this episode as kind of flashbacks and stuff. So filling us up, uh, filling us in on stuff we didn't see yet. So if they do it like that kind of way, they could last the whole rest of the season with this probably, which would be cool. I mean, it's pretty exciting. This is definitely a good uh, episode for a mix of battle and for getting some new information flashbacks everything like that so really like this one descent and it's gonna be the descent into further madness for titans against humans here well i'll be back to watch that the descent further next time for next on monday with attack on titan season 3 episode 16 please do join me back for that do subscribe to the channel here if you like these. Check out some other videos I do if you like. Do whatever you like. And until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.